what is going on everybody welcome back to another youtube video so in this youtube video we're gonna get straight into it and we're gonna basically rule out some things before you start watching this video so basically if you don't have a 13th or 12th gen cpu you might want to click off this video and if you don't have a 12 core cpu you might want to click off this is only for 13th gen slash 12th gen and cpus with a lot of cores so 12 cores just because we're basically doing something that is not going to help performance if you're only on eight cores and if you're only on six cores and if you're only like on that range 10 cores you might be fine but basically this is mostly just for people that are on ryzen 9s 13th gen cpus and 12th gen cpus that have e cores efficiency cores enabled in bios so that's basically ruled out and another thing before we continue watching this video you want to make sure you're on windows version 21 h2 if you're not on windows 10 21 h2 or above then and this isn't going to work for you it's not implemented so you need to be on windows 10 21 h2 or above so to check that press your start menu type win ver press ok and as you can see it says version 21 h2 for me and i'm on zilli os which is 21 h2 so what is this what are you talking about what am i talking about so basically there is a feature called reserve cpu sets which basically what this does is you could pick cores that windows ignores and doesn't put like any tasks or work on them while you're gaming so just ignores them and like you have basically consistent gameplay you don't have any context switching randomly like basically you're getting lower input delay and lower latency that's kind of the point you might even get better fps but this is only again for people that have e cores enabled or are on high core count cpus which is basically like the only two if you don't have either of those don't even watch don't even bother watching this video i'm just making this video for others i personally won't be using this i don't have either one of those cpus i'm just showing you how to do this because i find it really interesting and it sounds really cool so basically head over to the link in the description and it's going to take you to this page right here this guy made this program he basically found this without and he made it made it into a program to make it easier for everybody which is super cool so basically this is a github and you want to go to releases right here reserve cp sets version 0.15 i mean it might be higher for you we might be updating it later but this is the version as of this video so i'm going to click on this right and it's going to start loading and we're going to click the reserve cp sets dot zip and I click this and it's going to start downloading and then once it's downloaded just open it up in your downloads folder and once it's in your downloads folder just right click on it click extract here with with 7-zip or WinRAR or just the normal like zip tool within Windows. Click extract here. It's going to make this folder. Double click on this folder and double click on the exe. It's going to open up this application right here. So again, guys, before I continue on 12th gen CPU slash 13th gen with E cores enabled. If you don't know what E cores are, just do a quick Google search. It's efficiency cores, which basically runs slower than performance cores and it might introduce some latency. So this was a kind of a big problem whenever 13th slash 12th gen came out. That's why everybody was saying if you're on those CPUs upgrade to Windows 11 because Windows 11 had like scheduling fixes. Uh, that's BS in my opinion because you could just disable the E cores and get lower latency, lower temperatures and higher FPS just by doing that. But some people like to have these enabled. So this is a really cool tool for those people and they could take advantage of this tool. So basically, as you can see, it shows me 12 cores. That's because I have SMT enabled. So if you have SMT enabled, you need to select every other core. And if you're on 13th gen or Ryzen 9, I don't really recommend enabling SMT or hyper threading because it's just going to be super hot. You need to have decent cooling to do this or just run the CPU in general with SMT or hyper threading enabled. So just make sure that it's disabled. And if you want it for whatever reason, just again, select every other core. And it's going to be kind of confusing because you can have like a whole like list in here, of course, because like those are high core count cpus like basically i think the i9 is like 24 cores cores or something with the e cores because it has like 12 or something i forgot but basically you want to find your performance cores which are going to be just eight or six if you're on the i5 it's going to be six i7 i9 it's going to be eight and if you're on ryzen 9 you're going to have 12 cores or 16 so on ryzen 9 the first eight are usually way better than the separate eight and i think this goes the same thing for si the six core which is pretty good but for the 12 core you might want to test it out with eight cores only or six cores only so you test that out but if you have 16 cores if you have a 5950x or a 7950x then you want to select the first eight and everything else just ignore that windows can use those cores for scheduling tasks 
scheduling work on them, basically not introducing any latency to the actual cores that the game is using or the latency sensitive application is using. So for example, I have 12 cores right here. Just let's just say we have 12 cores right here. I know I don't actually in reality, but let's just say we do. So basically I would want to pick six just so I could run my game on these six. So basically these six right here are going to be only used for my game or latency sensitive applications and everything else windows is gonna basically put whatever they want on there and it's gonna ignore the first six because the first six are reserved just for gaming or latency sensitive devices which again this sounds really cool but you need to have the right cpu to take advantage of this because if you don't it's just going to reduce performance if you do this so again that's why i keep mentioning e cores 12th gen 13th gen and ryzen nines because of that reason so you select these you press ok restart and it's gonna apply and then you could like verify this with hardware info and like run like a stress test and basically you choose like the specific threads and cores it's gonna show you which ones are being used through hardware info or hardware monitor or whatever like monitoring tool you're using and then basically once that you check that if you want to check that you should hop in game test out the difference there should be like a noticeable difference between latency and you might not have like weird drop or inconsistency because Windows isn't really like putting stuff on your main cores that are being used to the all right guys so an extra step that I completely glanced over while making the first recording of this video basically open up your epic games launcher slash launcher for your game whatever game you're playing for Call of Duty you can just do this straight to the game exe file but basically right click on your taskbar click task manager and then right click on your epic games launcher or just expand it and then right click on epic games launcher click Click, go to details do the same thing for whatever game or launcher you're doing this to and right click on it click set affinity and basically you're gonna have the CPU that you want reserved that you want the game to basically run off of selected so for example if I'm on a 12 core CPU and I want only six reserved I'm gonna uncheck the rest of the CPU right under CPU number five which is basically one two three four five six so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna press ok and that's gonna make sure that basically the game's running off of that and these cores are reserved for windows to schedule work on them and they're not used for gaming and they're not going to interrupt or cause interrupts with our gameplay only those cores are going to be used for our real-time application and low sensitivity applications so make sure you do this for programs or the applications you're using the reserved cpu set application for make sure you do this with that for the affinities for the program as well just to make sure it's 100 working this game but yeah again you want to have 12 cores or e cores enabled for you to do this because if you don't it's just not going to make sense because like games right now they use six cores or more so if you're on an eight core cpu and you're trying to do this without e cores it's not really going to be beneficial you might even like get lower performance so that's again if you don't have that if you don't have e cores and if you're not on ryzen 9 really don't do this and by the way to revert this if you want to revert it just double click on the program uncheck all of this press ok restart it's reverted it's back to default that's pretty much it how you revert it and that's pretty much it for this video it's really simple guys if you want more than this to basically enhance your gameplay book an optimization down in the description i have a full pc optimization service where i basically put you on the best settings possible for lower latency competitive gaming and for basically smoother gameplay so link it is in the description book whenever you're ready i offer three services and you could pick from either one the first one is the best compatibility but the third one is going to be the best one the ultimate pc optimization service but other than that that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope to see you guys in the next one like and subscribe and peace out